Hello brothers and sisters of the interweb, Steel Phoenix here, and before we come face to face with them and the fishermen that catch them, it's time to cover the Shrimps of the Metro series. Shrimps are large crustacean-esque mutants found in the underground rivers of the metro and swamps of the surface. Shrimps come in a number of forms, but all share several similarities such as slender bodies topped with pronounced armored heads, as well as claw-like arms. Their chitinous armor is strong enough to absorb and even deflect shotgun fire as well as other small arms fire. Their chitinous armor, as well as their large claws on the males, points toward them being mutated crayfish as well as their aquatic habitat. Like Nosalises and spider bugs, shrimp have several variants. The first variant, and the only harmless variant of the bunch, are hatchlings, which are small scavenging creatures around the size of the smaller spider bugs that, when approached, will scatter and burrow into the ground to escape. The second and most common variants are the females, who, against what Artyom has told, are very hostile variants with a leech-like mouth that they use to spit acid at Artyom. Despite this, they are rarely a threat, even in larger numbers, due to their acid being relatively slow. Though when attacking with the help of the males, they can be dangerous as their acid can muck up the vibes in the gas mask, making it harder to avoid the males. The third uh, variant are the males, of course. Uh, the males are identifiable by their more pronounced shield on their heads and the armored claws, as well as more jawed mouth as opposed to the round mouth. Like their heads, their armored claws are also bulletproof against small arms, though they are still not that difficult to dispatch due to them leaving their underbellies exposed rather often when attacking, where they can be taken out with a single shotgun blast. They can also be relatively easily avoided just by running away from them as they don't tend to pursue. The fourth and final variant are the bog shrimps that resemble a much larger variant of the males that have started to either grow foliage on them from lurking for so long, or have decorated themselves in it as well as having grown glowing mushrooms on their heads. They are extremely territorial and will fight viciously against anything that invades their territory. They are much more persistent than their smaller counterparts and will chase prey until they either can't reach it or until they kill it. As well as their standard claw strikes, they also can perform a charge where they will form their claws into a sort of V and push themselves forward with their hind legs and tail at impressive speed. The only predators the shrimps appear to have are humans, and possibly the bear in the gardens. The only other encounter shrimps have with any other mutant is one territorial dispute with a demon. There are also two theories on the reproductive cycle of shrimps. The first is that shrimps are born as hatchlings that scavenge amongst the swamps until they grow into either females or males, who then reproduce where the females lay eggs and continue the cycle. In this theory, bog shrimp are very old males that grow large enough to dominate the smaller variants and reproduce with most females. The second is that the shrimps are born as hatchlings, grow into females, who then grow further into adult males and then reproduce. On this theory, bog shrimp are the final stage of growth for the shrimp. As for Exodus, shrimps are actually already confirmed to be an Exodus, one of the few mutants that have been so far. Bearing a stronger resemblance to their namesake, inhabiting the waters and swamps around the Volga. But, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Like if you liked, subscribe to become part of the Phoenix Brotherhood. And as usual, thank you, have a nice day, and this is Steel Phoenix signing off. Bye!